According to CrowdTrick's 2022 Global Threat Report, 62% of all attacks today are malware-free. In these attacks, threat actors use trusted, legitimate tools built right into the operating system, like PowerShell or Bash, to perform their malicious tasks. They can also operate entirely in memory, hiding in an organization's blind spots and evading detection by never even writing code to disk. Traditional security approaches rely on inspecting memory, point in time, on fixed schedules. And this risks detecting adversaries far too late or missing them altogether. These approaches are also not using hardware to optimize these scans, which can also be extremely resource intensive, with scans bringing critical systems to a crawl. Hi, I'm Mark Guevara, Senior Solutions Engineer here at CrowdStrike, and this is Under the Wing. Today, we're going to show how CrowdTrick's Falcon platform helps organizations detect and prevent malware-free attacks in real time using CrowdTrick's advanced memory scanning. Now, CrowdTrick uses a host of tools to uncover these attacks, including behavioral IOAs, indicators of attack, and even script control. Advanced memory scanning augments these tools and works with them, adding a new layer of visibility and protection to stop attacks earlier in the kill chain. So let's dive in. Working in partnership with Intel Corporation, CrowdTrick has reimagined memory scanning, enabling fast, high-performance scans by integrating Intel's Threat Detection Technology, TDT, with CrowdTrick's advanced memory scanning algorithms. First, in partnership with Intel, we've minimized the resource consumption with a few key hardware optimizations, such as GPU offloading and new algorithms optimized to run on Intel processors. All to limit memory scan sizes and duration, memory segments can logically down-select to limit scans to just what makes sense, depending on the artifact type. Now, we also have guardrails on scan sizes and CPU limits to minimize that performance disruption. Altogether, what this means is that more memory can be scanned more often at a minimal impact. We've also used CrowdTrick's indicators of attack to automate when scans take place configuring them to run on high fidelity behavioral indicators instead of arbitrary scan intervals. Also, when there are new memory scan specifications to use, they're delivered to customer endpoints from the cloud in minutes, so your endpoints are protected from the newest and most sophisticated types of fileless attacks. This allows us to find and stop fileless attacks in real time, not after the breach. Let's take a look at how this works. Dimitri, over to you. Thanks, Mark. Hey, everyone. My name is Dimitri Kroll, and I'm a solutions engineer here at CrowdStrike. Let's walk through how we can use advanced memory scanning to stop fileless and in-memory style attacks. Here we have our user falling victim to a Cobalt Strike weaponized Excel file that is attached to a phishing email. What this file does is it launches a fileless or in-memory code reuse attack. This is where attackers opt to reuse and execute legitimate code that is already present in memory versus including it in their initial attack payload. The victim continues with their work, unknowing to them, the beacon calls home to its server and requests the full payload. That will allow the attacker to remotely control the victim system. They can perform reconnaissance, exfiltrate files, start key loggers, or in our case, take screenshots of confidential documentation on the victim's desktop. Back in the Falcon Prevention Policy Configuration page, in order to prevent these types of attacks, we need to enable our advanced memory scanning toggles. Under Hardware Enhanced Visibility, we can turn on Memory Scanning, which offloads compute to the integrated Intel GPU and enables Scan with CPU, which is a CPU-based fallback if the GPU is unavailable. Now the user prepares to open the same weaponized spreadsheet that they downloaded earlier. As the attack executes, we use Task Manager to see that the CPU utilization remains low and that the user activity is not affected. The attack failed. When the malicious code tried to load the beacon into memory, the process was killed by the Falcon agent and the Cobalt Strike attack was stopped in its tracks. Opening the Falcon Endpoint Detection UI, we see the critical notification showing post-exploitation activity by a malicious tool, confirming what we saw in the endpoint. The UI shows that the malicious process was killed by the Falcon agent when the memory scan detected indicators of malicious Cobalt Strike artifacts in memory. There you have it. Back to you, Mark. Dimitri, thanks as always. With CrowdStrike's Intel TDT-powered advanced memory scanning, 
organizations can stop sophisticated fileless attacks like advanced persistent threats, ransomware, and dual-use tooling with unprecedented speed and scale. To learn more, register for our upcoming Crowdcast on January 19th. You can also read more about advanced memory scanning and sign up for a 15-day free trial of the Falcon platform on www.crowdstrike.com.